hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert multiple data into database in php mysql so guys now let's get started with it so first you need to create a table so for example i have created a demo table where i have id name and phone so id is nothing but the primary key which you can see as int and it is set to primary key okay so guys now let's uh, get back and let's move to this page so let's go to editor so guys i'm using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface where i have simply designed with the card where you can say this output so now let's get started guys over here so inside this first we need to create a form so let's create a form where method is equal to post and action will be code.php file so i have already one file code.php and now let's create a simple form for this so first let us tell uh, one main form dot margin top three and we'll give one border bottom for the designing purpose we are doing this and then start this row column md6 not six four we'll give four form hyphen group input dot form control where the label will be name and placeholder name and let's give the name attribute is equal to name okay so let's copy this once again paste and let's give this as phone number copy and now one simple one more column md4 for the button so let's call form hyphen group add a br tag and one button button which will be a remove and let's give a class button button danger and this button name will be remove hyphen button save and the type is equal to button save this and now let's check the output guys refresh you can see this output so now guys we want one simple thing we need to add one button to add another form we want to insert multiple data right so if we click add over here it should add one more form so for that let's create one simple button inside this h4 tag a tag javascript void of zero with the class name float float end button button primary and we'll give this add add more save so i'm using bootstrap file so float and we are using refresh you can see add more over here okay so before this we need to just let me give margin bottom and before this ending form you need to create one submit button so for that let's uh, create one button called submit multiple data or save you can tell okay and let's give the button type is equal to submit s-u-b-m-i-t and a simple class name button hyphen primary button name save multiple data okay so save now and yes guys let's refresh you can see this button okay so guys now when we click on this add more this form should be added okay one more time it should be repeated so we will do that using jquery 
So let's continue. You need one jQuery CDN link. You can go to directly jQuery CDN link. If you type, you will get the first link over here. Just copy this with this link. So this is the code. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same thing over here. That's it. And now we need to start the code to loop that. First, you need to type the script tag. Now JQ doc where we want on a click event. So let's call on click where we will tell this over here. Let's give document and this event will be click and on what click you want dot add more form so let's copy this class name and paste inside your add more form paste and now guys let's alert this and test hello close this refresh and now let's click on this you can see hello so cool so our jquery is working and now let's type the code to append this form once again. So guys, to paste that form, you need to create one div. So let's create one div with the name. Paste new forms. So this is my div. Over here, I am going to paste all the forms. So let's copy this class and call the code over here. Dollar and inside single quote dot and paste your that class name dot append function done and inside this single quote you need to start the code so what you're going to paste over here is nothing but the same form so let's copy this form so before copying it make sure you are giving required over here r-e-q-u-i-r-e-d required Let's copy, paste, that's it. So two forms, it should be mandatory. Save, you can refresh. You can see when you click to save, it should ask this. Let's copy this and just paste inside this append function. Paste and now guys, you can see. So let's concatenate this by forward slash That's it. So we have concatenated and guys, when I load the form, I don't want this remove button. And after that, I need a remove button. So before that, let us add one over here. You can see that it's adding perfectly. So let's add, add, add. It's coming, right? But I don't want this remove button on the first. So let's go on the form and remove this column D option. Save, refresh, you can see for the second forms it is there okay so let's uh, remove this a simple code for this also okay as simple we are going to same you use the on func on click function so over here document so which will load the thing and in this click we are going to check that so what is that remove button so over here you have added this remove button right let's copy this remove button so on this remove button what it should happen so that is nothing but dollar this oops need to paste inside the bracket dollar this dot you are going to get the closest value closest with the remove function to remove the data so what is your closest when i click this remove button over here when you click this remove what is the closest value i'm going to get the main form so this main form you are going to copy let's copy this and paste that so it's a class you need to add dot let's save and yep guys refresh add add you can see remove remove working fine so i'll just show you a demo a a a and ccc so let's remove b b is removed a and c is left out 
perfect so guys everything is working and now let us insert the multiple data so save the data so guys now let's get back so same name over here you need to make an array so for this name you need to mention array let's copy this and let's make this phone over here array so same thing you need to copy in your jquery file paste and this also will be array that's it so first step and yep guys let's go to code.php with the post method so let's copy the button name copy and go to code.php move use if condition is set function dollar underscore post method of the button so if this button is available then you are going to type the code so dollar name is equal to dollar underscore post of your what a name name okay this input box value name okay name and this phone let's copy this phone paste so same way you are going to take this value and paste that's it and now let us use for each loop to get all the input values to store that so let's use for each and inside this dollar we will take dollar name as dollar index as is equal to dollar your datas okay so data we will tell so this data is nothing but your name okay you can tell this as not data will give names only as simple so let's echo that echo dollar name and this phone if you want to echo this using this only so let's use that let me just concatenate and paste that use bracket and send this your values so it will be incrementing it is 0 1 2 with the help of that 0 1 2 we can pass multiple number of input boxes if you want so let's save and now let us test once guys refresh with triple eight next ohm triple nine one more data narendra so five 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 let's get, click on submit perfect you can see with triple eight ohm triple nine narendra triple five so this is how we are getting all the datas okay let's refresh back and yep guys so write a query to store that as simple let's comment this first and create a variable called query where the query insert into table name so my table name is demo let's copy that where input fields so that is nothing but name and phone so let's copy this paste comma so this is name and phone values open bracket close bracket and inside this single quotes you need to pass and then what are the data you are going to pass so over here you just echo right so let's take this into one variable so over here we'll save name is equal to we are going to give this name and then again for the phone number so save phone is equal to what data so this data so let's call that if any other input fields are there you can take as other field name okay so this is for your demo okay for example emp id anything you can just mention so this is a demo purpose you need to add that if you have more fields so i'm working on with the two fields so guys now let's take this variables data so save name so this value will go to name fun name column give comma again single quotes where you are going to take this save phone where you'll pass this inside this as simple so guys now let's execute this above query create a variable called query run is equal to with the help of mysql query function so where dollar connection and then your query above query so dollar query so this is your query okay so after saving this let's 
execute it is success or not so we'll use if condition to check that let's copy this variable if it is fine then it will come inside this and display a message using session variable so this session variable name will be status is equal to where you will tell multiple multiple data inserted successfully and redirect back to the page with the location capital L and now guys which page I want to go the same page so let's copy this and paste over here save and let's give exit function let's give zero over here so same way you're going to show with the else condition also let's paste that data not inserted okay save it and now if you're using session make sure your session is started and we are going to this page so which is this page so let's add the session over there also okay session is not started open and close php session underscore start function and now guys we need to display a message so we'll display one message over here so i have already written the code so let me just paste that simple code to display a message using session so you can use this method and answer that after showing the message so let's save guys and this let's test it so as you can see uh, the data is empty over here so there is no data inside this table and now let us insert that multiple datas so let's tell ved and give nine add more ohm eight let's add one more varun five rohit four okay and now let me add one more okay not required so let me just remove and guys let us click to save save multiple data inserted successfully we have got the message so now let's see into our db guys now let me just browse you can see four data have come with om varun and rohit so guys we have successfully inserted multiple data and we saw how to create this and remove this okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share